How you going? Nick from Australian Native Bee here. I just thought I would uh, show you my new Native Bee hive design. Um, so here it is. This is the new Native Bee hive design. Native design, lid, honey super, and two brood boxes with a bee space in between, in between the sheet supply. Now, I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep these stocked miters. Now, you may notice that these walls are a bit shorter than your standard uh, native bee hive design, and there's a reason for that. When I first started, I made boxes like this, and they were 140 and 140 high. Now, they're, they're pretty good boxes. They work really well. They looked a bit too much like a tower. There's one over there. So later on, I actually changed the top box to a 68 mil, which is what you get when you rip a 140 in half with a saw. Um, what I discovered was, is that these boxes worked really, really well every time they were split. And so it got me thinking why this was. So I went back and I looked in some log hives. And what I discovered is that the height of the brood had a big factor. Now, brood in a log measures between 150 and 170 mil high. And what I was getting with these boxes was very, very close to that measurement. So what it meant was every time the hive was broken in half, you didn't have the brood sitting all in the bottom or all in the top. You had very, very big round brood discs that were packed into the box. They didn't go narrow, they were wide because they didn't have enough room, so they made the discs wider. And what that means is that every time you split, you nail that brood right in the middle. Now, some people might be wondering, why, why is the bottom box deeper on this? How did it work with the bottom box being deeper here? Well, naturally in a hive, here's a little imaginary brood. Naturally in a hive, bees actually cradle the brood up. If you start brood on the floor of a hive, bees will actually lift it up about 30 mil and then cradle it in the involucrum. So long term, you'll have this big sheet of wax right around the brood. And that's how it worked. They lifted the brood up and that put the brood right in the center to be broken every time. So that's what I've taken across onto this new design of box. 68 mil high walls so that you get big beautiful discs and the compressing of the brood forces the bees up to fill your honey super up. Hope you like that uh, little demonstration of uh, how I came to this box design and uh, I should have these up on the blog soon.